Someone asked me a few questions about what I do for internet on the road. After answering them, she suggested I do a video on it. She felt it would be useful for other people. She asked if I ever have to hang out at a place like Starbucks to use their free internet. I did do that in my first few weeks on the road, mostly Home Depot and Lowe's. They have the best internet that I was able to access from the parking lot because they want people to be able to look things up when they're outside shopping in their garden center. But if you've seen my video called The Night the Popo Came a Knockin', you know that I parked too close to a Lowe's building for three days because the weather was bad and I had nothing better to do than to upload videos of my travels. And Lowe's thought I was a homeless person that took up residence in their parking lot and the police kicked me out. Most businesses aren't as busy as Walmart. So a Lowe's employee will notice things that a Walmart employee doesn't have time to notice. That's been my experience anyway, or my theory. So eventually I went to a Verizon store. They're everywhere. And replaced my AT&T SIM card with a Verizon SIM card and signed up for their unlimited plan. If you just go to a Verizon store, they set it all up for you. I got Verizon after seeing many nomads on YouTube say that they get the best coverage in the most places with Verizon. The unlimited Verizon plan is $75 a month plus taxes and fees if you use auto pay and just have them deduct the bill from your checking account automatically. Without auto pay, I think it's $5 more a month. They checked my credit before letting me sign up for the plan. Even though there's no contract, you can cancel it any time. I would not ever go back to hunting around for free internet from businesses. Not just to avoid uh, a knock from the police, but the amount of time and gas you'd have to use to find decent internet, it's not worth it. Not to me anyway. So I now use my unlimited Verizon plan for everything. I am so dependent on it that if Verizon raised the price to $150 a month, I would pay it. I'd eat more ramen noodles to afford it if I had to. Verizon says it throttles you at 22 gigabytes, which I probably use up in a few days from watching videos. But throttling hasn't affected my life at all. I'm still able to look up important things. If I watch a TV show at night and the video is laggy because it's been throttled, so what? Watching non-laggy videos isn't important. The videos are good enough. What is a priority is having the unlimited ability to use Google as a GPS if I don't like the route my Garmin GPS wants to take me on. I need to look up the weather because when you travel and live in a vehicle, the weather dictates your life. So you'll be checking the weather multiple times a day because the weather has gotten more unsettled these days. The forecast seems to change more. I do all of my banking and bill paying online using free open internet from a business like Starbucks or McDonald's isn't secure you can safely look up your credit card charges with your own cell phone data plan but not with free Wi-Fi from a business there are times when I use my Verizon Unlimited maybe as much as 16 hours a day I live stream the news in the morning while I have breakfast I look up tourist attractions and check it out thoroughly um, so that if I'm paying a $20 admission fee for something I make sure it's something that I'm going to like. So I look up what everybody is saying about it on TripAdvisor or Yelp. I need to know if an attraction is pet friendly. Is there safe and secure parking since everything I own is in this vehicle? You might want to look up what gas station has the best price. I might use Google all day as my GPS while driving then use it to look up where I can sleep without getting in trouble where I can buy what I need where my dog can get her toenails cut 
There's a million reasons you'll need to look things up on the internet while you're traveling. I also need to upload my videos to YouTube. With the Verizon Unlimited plan, they give you hotspot data, which I use to upload video from my laptop to YouTube. I've taken so much video of my travels that I need to upload to YouTube. I filled up multiple external hard drives with video because I had already filled up my laptop with video. So it's gotten necessary to put video on YouTube for that reason. And you can make videos private on YouTube if you don't want to bother editing them or sharing them. I was asked what happens if your signal is interrupted in the middle of uploading a video. The upload will resume when your signal resumes. It used to be that on YouTube you had to start from scratch if you lost your signal. That's not the case anymore. Having a good cell signal is most importantly needed to make emergency calls if you need help. I bought a WeBoost recently, which is basically an antenna you put on your vehicle to improve your cell signal. There are already a ton of videos out there on the WeBoost, so I'm not going to make another one, especially since I'm not blown away by it. I would get one if you have the extra money. I don't regret buying a WeBoost, but for almost $400, I was expecting more than what it does. It will improve your signal by one bar most of the time. Once in a while, there's a two-bar improvement, but if there's no bars, WeBoost can't create one. It can only improve a signal that's already there. If it saves you from driving around looking for a better signal, which I have to do sometimes, then it might be paying for itself in gas money. But the WeBoost is not as important as having Verizon Unlimited. I strongly recommend that data plan for traveling.